Hello guys, welcome to another video. And this video is not about me participating in the contest, but rather showing you guys how to use my extension for your competitive programming setup. So let's get to it. So if you guys did not know, I released an extension. It's still work in progress, but it's getting there. So my GitHub username is Sam two now eight, and I have this fast Olympic coding extension. Now this is heavily inspired by the original plugin in Sublime Text, which you can see if you look at the user interface, it looks almost exactly the same. Although I kind of plan to change it somehow in the future if I do. But yeah, so this was in Sublime Text. I wanted it in VS Code and it has some bugs I wanted to fix. So I just created my own version. So as you can see, I give the full credit here. So if you hop on a VS Code, first let's install the extension. I have it installed, but you can find it by going to the extensions tab and search up fast Olympic coding. And you'll see this one. So this is the one. So it's our version 0.4 right now. When I get all these to do's done, it will probably be a version 1.0. So now that we have it installed, and the first thing is configuring it. Because the way this extension works is it doesn't restrict you to certain languages, but you have the responsibility to give out the appropriate commands for it to execute. So this readme here says, you can see two configurations, .cpp, so that's C++, and .py, Python file. So what we're going to do to keep this simple is copy this thing and then go to your settings. And under the extensions tab, sidebar thing, Go to fast Olympic coding and can click on this run tab and can see this run setting. And you don't have to worry about all these other variables. I'll add documentation for them, but I can leave those at default. So you can see I already have this. I already have this setting. So like this is all my other settings you can ignore, but you just add this. Now, one thing that's different. If I literally copy this again and I paste it in, I pasted it wrong. It's supposed to be like this. So, because I also use this with leak code, and the way you do it with leak code is I use my own template right here, competitive programming. So, under this leak code folder, if you download this template, which I will do to show you guys. This requires a tiny bit more setup. Under this readme, it says pass the LC local. So I'm not going to read the rest of this. I'll just show it. So under this compile command for C++, I just add in this like that. It's, it's as simple as that. And that's it. So now we're pretty much ready to use extension. So if I kind of pretend I'm setting up this competitive programming template for the first time, so I would just download the zip and I will basically copy this folder. So let me go back to this folder. I'll copy this. I'll put it somewhere I like. And let me open that folder with VS Code. So I go to here, select folder. And then, yada yada, I already did this, so I don't have to worry about these. So this template file, I just make another copy of it. Call this Q4, strictly used for question four of the contest. Let's pick a random question. Oh, so let's, let's you add two integers. This one's very simple, so 
it's just me demonstrating how this extension runs. So I'm gonna copy this function, this signature. I'm gonna copy it here within this region. I'm going to put in the method name down here. Now, as you can see, I'm using another extension which does the highlighting. But don't worry, this will be all defined because we literally put it in a compile commands. So just return num1 plus num2. So we just click on this little lightning bolt, fast Olympic coding. And I forgot I already has some test cases here. Let me delete that. Let me just hit next test case. It says it's compiling and then yeah, just input into the input here. One and two. And let me end the test case with an empty line. Three and two, one thousand. Add another thousand. Two thousand. And if I were to, I don't know. Why would I do this? I don't know. To demonstrate that I can run all of these at the same time. You can just hit run out. And there we go. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That is how you set up the extension. Uh, obviously, if you're using something like code forces, you don't have to do anything else either. You, I just use my own template, which I just throw in the solve method. But yeah, that's the tutorial.